Hi guys, this is Rashid and welcome back. So today we would like to show you our new product, this tiny thermal camera. The dimension is 20 by 20 by 47 millimeter, good for many applications like drone or small UGV or even wearing device like attached on helmet. I have made ROS2 package which you can easily develop your project. And also today we would like to show you the sample application and the features of how to control this thermal camera. So if you're ready, let's get started. Here how it looks closely. The resolution is fixed at 640 by 512. The frame rate is 30 FPS and the FOV is 60 degree. The interface is by USB-C at the back. Before using this camera, I'm thinking to make a case cover in order to attach to somewhere else and protect it from dust or water. I started designing on SOLIDWORKS. There would be two parts, the main case and front cap. The camera would be fit in the case with M1.6 screw from side and hole at the back for USB-C port. Then I go to pcbway.com to upload my step file. There are many materials you can choose, but for this time, I'm going to use lacing because high precision. Then upload other parts. You could see all the option is well explained. Then select quantity you need. After that, submit your request and wait for their review. If your file and order has no problem, it will process later to manufacturing. And after waiting for a couple days, my part is alive. The quality is fantastic. Normally, if you print from home 3D printer, the dimension will be shrunk a bit and cause some issue when assembling. So if you're looking for high quality 3D printed part, please check on PCB Way. Here we just need to insert the camera unit into the main case and lock with M1.6 by 4mm four pieces. And finally put the front cap to cover it. Next, let's plug the USB cable from camera to PC. If you list dev video device, you will see there is extra video device showing, but you cannot display the frame similar to normal webcam. We need to use live UVC to handle this. After build the package and source ROS2 environment, you can run it by ROS2 run, hit thermal cam, thermal cam. Then we can display the IR frame by ROS2 run, image tool, show image. The video streaming is in grayscale where the white is hottest and black is coldest. If we start the node with ROS agreement parameter, show hot as true, you could see the red dot on the frame which is the hottest point. If we pass another parameter color map as true, you could see the frame as rainbow color, blue is coldest and red as hottest point. If you want to use this as normal webcam, you will need to install this software called V4L2 loopback and run it with sudo mod probe V4L2 loopback, video NR equal 40, exclusive caps equal 1, and card label as fake device. This will create virtual video device number 40. Next, we could run ROS2 launch, hit thermal cam, thermal cam loop.launch.py with show hot as true and video out as dev video 40. And if we play dev video 40, we could see the IR frame as normal webcam. You can go to webcamtest.com, then select the fake device 
and you could see that the IR frame is playing on browser like normal webcam. If you list last topic, you could see there is thermal cam hottest. We could echo this topic to see the hottest value of the frame. Also, you can publish thermal cam color map as true in real time, then the frame could be changed to RGB. And switch back to grayscale by publish as false. Next, I will show you the dynamic range display. I made this simple web application. You could see the slider down here. We can set up minimum and maximum display range. On the pixel value that higher than max will be white, and the pixel value that lower than minimum will be displayed as black. So depends on which use case, we can set up for target range, then the target temperature could visualize much clearer. This slider setup is the same thing when you publish on Thermocam Draw Min and Thermocam Draw Max topics. Also, if we publish Thermocam color map as true, then the value that less than minimum will be blue, and the value that more than max will be red. Next, I'm going to use this thermal camera with just an Orin Nano to do a human detection and get maximum temperature off inside the bounding box. Here is the code of my application. I'm going to use AI object detection from Autolytix YOLO 11, which is very fast and convenient to use. First, import Autolytix RCLPy and necessary packages. Then create the model object with YOLO V11. This is the class name for this model. Next, we create video object from video capture on dev video 40. Then create gross to node as a class. We are going to listen to topic thermal cam temp array. Each pixel of the IR frame is represented as temperature degree value in float. So the data come as 1D array. So you can use NumPy reshape to bring it back to 2D temperature image data. Inside the timer callback loop, we read the video frame and pass it to autolytic model. Then we could get the result. Inside the result, we can grab bounding box data from boxes key. Then if the temp image is alive, we can find the hottest point inside the bounding box result. Then we put text and make rectangle on human shape. On the first terminal here, we run ROS2 launch, hit thermal cam, thermal cam loop .launch .py with show hot as true and video out as the video 40. On another terminal, we run Python 3 test IR cam, and you will see the result frame showing. You could see that object detector could detect human shape, then we find the hottest point inside there. The hottest temperature inside the box is my body temperature, so it's showing around 35 to 36 degrees. And that's for today's videos. I hope you guys like it. This tiny thermal camera is very suitable for mini application and the size is just in your palm. If you're interested on this thermal camera, please go check on attractlab-shop.com. There is a documentation of how to set up and how to use this camera. If you like this kind of video, please don't forget to press like and share button or you can join my channel membership to buy me a coffee every month. So thank you for watching and see you soon.